Hi, my name is Trisha Desus. I'm a fourth year student studying Bachelor of Early Childhood Education. And today I'm going to be the presenter of the Mabalakat City College Group 1 for the Technology Based Instructional Materials Competition. So let me introduce my group mates. First is our team leader, Mr. Rodel Flores, then Mary Ano Campo, Ms. Karen Gonzalez, Ms. Jude Ciruela, Ms. Jalen Descanso and Daniel and Miss Daniel Castro. So based on the K-12 curriculum guide, the subject that we chose is science on the third grade level. Our topic is about the sense organs. So before I show you the time lapse on how we did our instructional materials, first I would like to share the um, educational significance and benefits of our instructional materials. So I think the significance of our materials is not only for the students to to know what are the sense organs, but also to understand what are their functions, um, their importance in our daily lives, and also it helps students to become aware of the good habits and the bad habits that could affect our sense organs. When it comes to the teachers, I think this will help them engage their students with their discussion. And now let us watch the time lapse on how we did our instructional materials. So for our instructional materials, it contains three parts. First is for the motivation part. The second one is for the discussion. And the third one is for the assessment part. So for the motivation part, we created an action song video from scratch. So what I did here, I used my keyboard to make an instrumental. And I use my mic condenser to record my voice. Then using the PowerPoint application, I merge my voice record to the instrumental. For the video, I use a green screen as my background so I could easily change the background of my video. Then after that, I used the KindMaster application to edit the whole video. Then for the discussion part, Sir Rodel and Ma'am Jude created an outline on how we will do the instructional material on the discussion part. After making the outline, Ma'am Mary Ann, Ma'am Jaylene, and I started designing and adding some details like videos, hyperlinks, sound effects, text, and some clip arts. And then on the assessment part, Ma'am Daniel and Ma'am Karen created a game-based assessment entitled Sense It. Just like in the discussion part, they used some hyperlinks, sound effects, 
text and also some clip arts. This time, I'm going to show you on how you can use this instructional materials on your class. So let me share my screen first. And then... So on this slide, this is the motivation part. So after the opening prayer, you can immediately play this one. Okay, after the motivation part, you can now go to the next slide, which is the discussion part. You just have to click the right arrow. And then after that, after clicking that right arrow, you can now use your mouse to click. Just click it like this, and then the title will come out, and also the images. When you're in the slide, just tell your students that today we're going to learn about the five senses. And then after saying that, you just have to click again and then a question will come out. On this part, you're just gonna have to ask your students what are the five senses and then after asking your students, you just have to click again and then it will lead you to this slide. And in this slide, in this part, you can now show all of the five senses. The eyes, the skin, the tongue, the ears and the nose and and after that you can choose where you want to start if you want to start with the eye or the skin you can also ask your students to choose where they want to start for example they want to start um with the eye after clicking one of the sense organs it will lead you to a slide where there's a video and then to watch this video just click the play button right here on this part and there after playing the video you're just going to ask the students what happened in the video and then you're just going to allow them to to share their ideas and thoughts about the video because this will help them develop their communication skills after asking the students you're just gonna have to click this one here this red button here and then it will lead you to this slide so on this part this is a discussion part about the function of that sense organ and then what you're going to do is you just have to click and then click and then after the discussion part you're just going to click this next button and then it will lead you to this empty slide and what you're going to do is to click again and it will show you this question which picture shows a way to take care of our eyes on this part it's like a game but um, this is actually the discussion part about the how to take care of our senses or sense organs 
you just have to click and click you're just going to ask this question which picture shows a way to take care of our eyes and if the student choose this then a wrong symbol will come out will show and then if he choose this one then a right symbol will come out click this next button and it will lead you to the to the next sense organ so again you're just going to ask the kids which sense organs they want to choose if they choose this one same thing with the eye a video will come out like this like this and then after the video you're just going to ask and then after asking the students just click the red button then discuss the function then then discuss on how you will be able to take care of your sense organ then let's show everything and click discuss the function then next and then next and the ears and then Discuss the function and Then there you go once you completed all the sense organs you just have to click this button right here the next button and Then it will lead you to the assessment part. So this is a game based Assessment and it's called the sense it game Okay, to start you just have to click this button right here. So let's click it and then it will show the instruction it says here identify and choose the right sense organ being described on the picture then after this you're just gonna have to click number one then here it will show a picture on this part you're just going to ask your student which um, sense organs is being used in the picture if he gets the wrong answer this image will show then let's just click this one to try again if he gets the right the right sense organ then this one will show then just click the next button let's try to answer all of these And we're done. So that's it for our technology-based instructional materials. I hope that you like it and enjoyed our presentation. Thank you.